Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and uh, this is a question that I'm answering from the Pure Mathematics P2 textbook from Pearson's at Excel. And this is the International A Level textbook. And this question is question number eight from exercise 6e from chapter six, which is all about trig identities and equations. Now, the question tells us that the equation tan kx equals negative one over root three where k is a constant and k is greater than zero, has a solution at x equals pi over three, find a possible value of k. So we know that the tan of some multiple of um, x, okay, is equal to minus one over root three. Now we know that x equals pi over three. So basically what we can say here is the tan of k times pi over three is equal to minus 1 over root 3. Okay, so now, if I was to solve this without considering, um, you know, the value of k in terms of whether it's positive or negative, then I could say, okay, let's solve this by taking inverse tan of both sides. So we can say that k times pi over 3 equals the inverse tan of minus 1 over root 3. Now, that gives us a principal solution. So k, tan k, k pi over 3 is equal to, now if you find the, the answer to that, the, um, the calculator answer, the principal solution for that is going to be, so make sure we're in radian mode because we want, we've got the dealing with angles in radians, so inverse tan of um, negative 1 over root 3. That's not in simplified third form, that's, Actually, should be root 3 over 3 in simplified format. No problem. That's how they gave it to us. Whoops. Put it in properly, the calculator. Now, that's going to give us negative pi over 6. Okay, so that's the principal solution. However, that if I use that as my solution here, my k value is going to be negative. All right? We want k to be positive. So k is greater than 0. All right? So we've got to think about um, another value where the tan of inverse tan of minus one over pi one one over root three um, will give us a positive answer, and so this is the principal solution, which is like negative pi over six. Now, for the tan curve, other solutions are found by by you know um, it repeats every one eighty degrees. So if I do minus pi over six plus pi, okay, every pi it repeats, that's going to give us 5 pi over 6. That should give us an answer where, um, you know, k will be positive. So, so if we take k pi over 3, so for example, if I take it as minus pi over 6, the problem is when I solve this one, I multiply both sides by 3 over pi to get rid of the, the numbers. I'm going to find what k is. So I multiply this also by 3 over pi. What happens is I end up with k equals and that gives you, uh, pi's cancel out, that gives you minus 1 over 2, 3 over 6. So that's not an answer because we know that k must be greater than 2. So therefore we're going to take the other solution, or the next solution along, which is pi away from this solution, where the other place where you know the tan will give us negative 1 over root 3. And so we can say k pi over 3 is equal to 5 pi over 6. So now if I do the same thing, multiply both sides by 3 over pi to leave myself with that k, they cancel out. So the pi's cancel out, the 3 cancels out with the 6, I'm left with 5 over 2. So k is equal to 5 over 2. There's the answer to part A. 5 over 2, 2.5, same thing. All right, so there's the answer to part A for this question. All right, so um, find a possible value of k. Now, the way the, word, the question is worded, it kind of answers... Uh, the part B, because it says part B state with justification whether this is the only such possible value of K. Well, it's not because there are many angles which will give us this value of minus 1 over root 3 when you find the inverse tan of those. Uh, one of them was um, minus pi over 6. The other one is 5 pi over 6. In fact, another one's going to be, you know, another pi away from 5 pi over 6. Okay, so we can say that, no, I can say there are many there are an infinite number of angles infinite number 
of angles such that we can say that k pi over 3 is equal to the inverse tan of minus 1 over root 3. Okay, so for example, just give an example. Okay, when um, k pi over 3 is equal to 5 pi over 6 plus another pi. That will also give us a value of k which will um, solve the answer. So, I mean, if we do if we do this, it will be k times pi over 3. That's 5 pi over 6 plus 6 pi over 6, that's 11 pi over 6. So if I do the same thing, multiply by 3 over pi, multiply by 3 over pi, pi's cancel, we're going to have 5.5. So k is equal to 5.5 will also be another value you can check. You can say the tan of 5.5 times pi over 3, k pi over 3. Let's see what that gives us. It should give us minus 1 over root 3. But the calculator will give us to us in a more in a simplified sort of form. So that's tan of 5.5 times pi over 3. That's k pi over 3. So this value of k will also give us the same answer, which is minus 1 over root 3. This is the same as minus 1 over root 3. It's just simplified set. That's also equal to minus root 3 over 3, okay, which is basically 1 over root 3, negative. Okay, so therefore, we can sh we've can we proved it. That there's other values of k. There's an infinite number of values of k, in fact. Okay, every value of k that takes us to the next solution along. Okay, because basically, what we found, if we look at it in terms of quadrants, what we just found was the angle over here by using the calculator. But that will, to get this angle minus pi over 6, you need to have a negative value of k, but k is positive. So what we want is the other place where tan is negative, which is in this quadrant. Remember, tan is positive in the first and the third negative in the second and the fourth so we're looking for this uh, this angle over here which is 5 pi over 6 okay and then the the other angle we found was this angle over there this is the angle which we're showing you know this is 5 point um, this was when um, it was 11 pi over 6 okay so there we have the answer to question part 8 a and b I hope that was clear um, other questions from this particular chapter, exercise six from the textbook, um, when I am requested and make a video on them, will be collected together in the playlist that should appear in this region over here. Other questions from this topic of trigonometry from P2 in general can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Don't forget to get the index of my different um, work from the different units of um, international a level as well as igcse you can get that from the description thank you for watching and see you soon